TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 9th of February, 2021. Thank you to Sheriff Nate Harmon and all the hardworking men and women at the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature an alarm check, a traffic accident, a welfare check, paramedic assistance, and a dispute. Special thanks to our viewers in Japan. We would like to say domo arigato. And to all my fellow karateka, mizu no kokoro. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, I'm so sorry that y'all came out because the thing came up and they called, but I couldn't hear anything. I got you. So I'm like, I don't know. Everybody good in here? Yeah, everybody's okay. The little um, the back door sensor thing that we have is like so sensitive. So if, like one of the kids drops something, yeah. it goes off like all the time. Um, my, my concern, everybody's all right. Yeah. Okay. Can I get your ID? Just run it. Say I came out here to make contact with you. I'll get out of your area. Uh, Jalil. Can you go get my wallet off the couch upstairs? I don't have my West Virginia driver's license yet. It's fine. I still have my Virginia one. Sorry, right. like I said, it's just the, for the, my, my bosses that I make contact with in here. How you doing today? Not too bad. pictures uh, we just got to make sure uh, you know who's the fault I guess and all everything like that so I think your bus is still driving and everything so
I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to give me at least about a dollar. Okay? You have your ID on you, ma'am? No, I'm just on with the county. I'm, oh, okay. I'm the one that's on the director of okay. transportation. Okay. Hey, sir. Here's could you could you get in your truck? We're gonna go down here with this empty lot right here. That way we're, we clear the roadway. All right. You want your bus pull down there too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll meet y'all down there. Then. All right. I'm, I'm gonna keep this with me. I'm gonna just meet down back down here. Okay. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. I know we I know we talked briefly about what happened. You gotta have you gotta have it on paper. You fill out your name here for me. I'm not worried about this bottom line. You ain't gotta worry about filling that out. A good address, contact number for you. Sign and date down here at the bottom for me, okay? I can do that. All right, sir, thank you. Your address, good contact number for you. I'm not worried about this bottom line here, none of this. Don't call that out. Sign and date down here at the bottom with the brief description we okay. okay. All right. Okay, we get started on paper when we get done. Just want to mind me to be able to cruise it. Okay, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, 
and even if I'm stopped in this yeah. car in front of me, I still got a stop when I get to that railroad track. I can't. I mean, the impact didn't even, wasn't even hard on us, I heard really. It. I didn't feel it. I heard yeah, it. Yeah, it wasn't really hard on us. I thought one can't be too well, bad. I got home. Because your airbag didn't deploy. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have been dangerous, yeah. <laughs> I've never had an airbag deployed on me. I don't want, I don't want one. I've seen it on video and it ain't. No, I don't even want, I don't want one at all. Though. As long as they stay in there turning well I know I'm okay <laughs> and you know we were downsizing because of this COVID and the income coming in and stuff we were downsizing on our bills and we had discussed you know just getting liability and oh, not no. getting coverage I'm glad we didn't yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't do that I'm glad we didn't do that Every dollar counts. Yes, it does. <laughs> We're getting to put the new one in the truck. <laughs> That's like I told him just when you think you got everything going good in your life, and then you. Oh. <laughs> Programmed it in. Just a suggestion, but if that's the same insurance company, it should be a number on that other, even though it's a different call. It still has a number It's expired, so I want, I want to be able to talk to somebody. Yeah, so I'm saying though, but if the call number should have been on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. We were just talking about trading it in to get another one. Oh. <laughs> what year is that? I love that thing now. I just Me too. I like my Buick too. I didn't think I'd like Kia till we got that in hand. I mean, it is just a nice car. My daughter has a, a little auto insurance. Oh, it's a, it, it's oh, it's their littlest car. Not the littlest, but their little car yeah. that they have a Forte. That's it. Mm -hmm. She has a Kia Forte. Mm -hmm. But I, I tell you, since we got the Kia, I really like Kia. I mean, it just... Well, I fell in love with Buick dying for it. That's what I think. <laughs> he said he'll never drive an SUV and he, wasn't, he would never get a Kia. So when we went to the dealership and I just fell in love with this one when I saw it. <laughs> and I don't want it, but we'll try it. Let me tell you what it like. When you put it to the test, I said, I don't think it's fine. It gets attached to my report. The vehicle accident report, will, it'll, it'll be attached to that, just saying that you, I found you at fault for following too closely, all right? You don't have to, no, no court, no fine, no, nothing like that. As far as, far as both y'all, this is actually a change form, this is insurance, his inf insurance information, your insurance information from the bus uh, transportation company. Um, it, it'll all be, you get a copy of it, it'll also be attached to my report, I do a full crash report based on the incident. You guys don't need toes, right? You're, you're yeah. going to drive home, you're good, you're okay. going to go, you're going to medical. You have, to, you have to go to medical, right? Yeah, yeah. Based yeah. On the, that's why I'm here. You can just get in contact. Well, no, I, don't, I don't need that. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Well, I was going to say, just get in contact and make sure everything's okay. okay. That way you have know, the insurance information. But I, you should be, I don't think you need me for anything else. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Here's your copy, sir. My grandpa said, your signature down, or your signature down here, but I don't need it. I just, I just write giving, giving it to you. My name's Stephanie Price. If you guys need anything, just call the uh, Sheriff's Hotline. My extension you need to talk to me about anything. Uh, your insurance company's just get in contact with our office in a couple of days. One, so there's really nothing we really have to do? No. No, I'm, no. Other than uh, fix my truck, you ready for that? Hey. Good to go? I didn't right. What do they say? Mo money, mo Thank money. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey. See ya. Y'all have a better day. Okay. Okay. You can loop around there, can't you? Yeah. Okay. What right. I'm going to do is you have a little Yeah. You just want to pick up my truck. Well, you have a great rest of your day. I will. I'll, I'll text Eric and tell him you you're on your way. Okay. Have a good day. Ma'am, can I get you to sign this for me real quick? No Thank you. Have a good day. Be careful. I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. All right, thank you.
and none of the students can be by any other people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the cat and everything be tested for proof. Appreciate you. Be careful. All right, buddy. Take care of yourself. I'll make a mess. Of it. No. Good. Bye, bud. Easy. I'll see you. Copy three eight same way. One four eighteen Berkeley. Show me an eight ninety four middleweight bike for the PSRs. Vehicles in driveway, so leave this in here. School board is worried about him. He's in school in a while. Let me go, man. A quick call. Okay, come on in. Appreciate it. Seven years old? No. Josh, 16. No, that's not him. We're looking for him. Make this trip. Uh, Josh, 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 that's next door. Okay. I'm off next door. All right. All right. Sorry about it. Hey, no problem. And uh, CP Auto. Okay. Is that a uh, part of the it business? Didn't, it didn't give me, an it just right. gave me this address. Yeah, because it's CP Auto down next door. Okay. okay. All right. No Thank problem, you. Man. Thank you.
apps and all kinds of other apps for working on that. So, yeah, I, I'm with you, Melody. It's still See, Halloween here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk. Hey, boss, look for, I'm doing a welfare check on Ashton. Seen her in a while. I haven't seen her for a couple days. So I have a <laughs> hey, You got to try to do uh, Let me go find. Yeah. Care if I step in here? My wallet's been shot. I Virginia. What's your name? Should be about missing by chance, does it? It's not, 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 
pop up approximation points. Where's she from? Where's she from? Where's she from? Where's she from? Like When's the last time you seen her? Dude, there was people buying them in, in, uh, the weekend, you know, like Saturday, Friday or Saturday. Really, I sold the individuals. I sold the. She was with the. Was with his mother, I guess. Thousands of blocks to sell. Value story. People eager to buy. What would you say the welfare of just the child was? Okay. Keep in mind, people don't know why you wouldn't be in school. That I have no idea. But you can buy. When she when he stays here, she she doesn't go to school. As far as I know, she he's supposed to be. I only talked to her once, and then when I see her, we're there just so we In the fall of 2004, as the Wolves opened for business. They immediately began to recruit. Where's his father? Is he lives, Dad, I have, you know, he lives around here in Florida, is what she said. I was thinking maybe he's here in Virginia, different school. That I know. They visit theme parks in Orlando and eat at fine restaurants. And they attend a workshop hosted by. Do you have a number for her, Rosie? Has she paid? Huh? She paid cash? Oh, she works for me, where I work at. She works as easy owner. But she has a, she's supposed to have a off today and tomorrow. You are exclusive representative in the city of New York. The company is brand new, but he claims a long history. She comes back here. So, we have a card. I'm going to write you down my information. And thousands of satisfied customers. And then it's one basic four words of child. Oh, yeah, I got 59 days. Has been logging online for school or any, any type of school, nothing like it. Victor tells his recruits that Sky Development will build 50 houses in the next few months. But before that can happen, Victor needs money. The Wolves always needed people with money. They didn't have any money themselves. So they needed to hook up with people that had means. People like Pete Madison. Who they know has been successfully flipping land in Citrus Springs. This is my information. Where we're all the first meeting I had with Victor and Victor came to my office. Let her know that I'm very special. I just want to talk to her. I want to get my house to get a picture. Yeah, I can respect that. He's okay, yeah. They asked Max. Yeah, that's a lot of time missing from school. I don't know if I missed that time in school. I mean, deep shit. Yeah, that's a lot of time missing from school. I don't know if I missed that time in school. I mean, deep shit. Yeah, the mother will be deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 gets in contact with child or her. Yeah, hey, I don't blame him, man, but you gotta do some shots. Absolutely. Kids, kids, yeah. Kids. I, got, I got four of them myself. Those kids are our future, we gotta take care of them. Yeah. All right, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Make, I like to make contact with that child, make sure it's okay. I haven't seen since a week. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I can't. I'm a little bit. I didn't smell anything inside that house, though. No. Three nine nine four. So I was wondering maybe somebody drove by or something. Oh. Oh.
mean, with the kind of just uh, checking this out. It's working in one point for a while. I'm not sure how long he was face down in the shower. Um, shorts, t shirt, or if he's going in, you can see it. I don't know how long. Um, a couple of his things in his wallet, we look for ID, that's all, a couple of so just so you let you guys know that you can see the So it's in that bottom part there. Hey, you got a mask though? Yeah, I got one. Okay, yeah. he says he's very good. Yeah, just leave it there. Alright. Let's know if it's not in progress, and if you want to buy So the razor is in the shower.
thought they said they had to make entry here. Not what they gave out that the EMS had to break the door to make entry. That's what I thought. I don't see any signs of forced entry. I don't see any signs of a struggle. I don't see any signs of anything but maybe he slipped in the shower or the, what they said they found him face down in there. Yeah. I mean, I mean sustained with the blood. Right over here. Blood. Well, it's all, I mean, there's blood all the way out here. Yeah, Like an old Civil War house that's been renovated multiple times. Oh yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, just all considering. Yeah. Yeah, neat place.
Bullet Pack and send it in when we need it. Hmm. Worked it out. I get from fighting the shit the cops are going with this. Let's just end it. <laughs> They're just arguing in the driveway. This is Tuber on 97, clear for Virginia 28. <laughs> that she owns and on her land and her driveway and they blocked her driveway where we can't even get in with snow. <laughs> yeah. His his daughter and son in law blocked her property with snow, admitted it on camera because her daughter his some some girl some purple headed girl was videoing it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry I did that. I could I'd be glad to I said, why did you do that? I said, that's the only reason we had to turn around up in your driveway, because you blocked her driveway. You know, so we didn't do nothing. Me and her showed up first, like, this is my wife. Kin to her, which I, we're all kin. <clears throat> we pull up in there to look at the property, because she's thinking about fixing the roof and fixing the little cabin and painting it, you know, and renting it out to um, her great granddaughters, I guess. Well, Whatever. Really family, good. family, okay? So we pull in, stop, past their fence line on the street, which is actually her property. And they come out, you need to move it on and start yelling at us. Yeah, his wife and the great whatever. And we're like, no, we don't. Stop. You know, no, we don't. The next thing you know, they come out with a dog. And I was like, don't, uh-uh, don't do it. You know, I'm telling you. They turned around and left. She met us here because we wanted to see the damage that we needed to fix on the cabin. We stopped in the road like we're legally allowed to. Here he comes barreling down the road. Get out of my property. This ain't your property. This is a county road. This uh, Subaru, little bay Subaru. He was actually end up being calm and cool. You know, we talked and <clears throat> but here she is, like, you know, little man. That's cool though. But video and you know, stuff like that. And we're like, we're peaceful. We're like, dude, we're just looking at you brought the prop. We can't even get my feet are soaked. We had to walk through the yard in snow to go look at the damage. You know, and then they have a court order that the right of way up there is legally on her property, but it's a right of way. So he has to keep it clear for a car or a truck to come through. You got trees growing in it. So she gave him an ultimate. If you don't clear it in three months, I'm going to take you back to court because he has a gate locked. Like he has to unlock it. It's they're, they're horrible, man. They're horrible people, bro. I mean, they're taking her, giving her hell. She's like, are you serious? Let me tell you something. My husband and I bought that little cinder block cabin because there was a clear driveway right away down to the water. And there was a man, Mr. Elliot. I can't think of his first name. Bob yeah, Elliot. Yeah, shake man. I, you know, this is, I, Bob I, oh, Elliot this kept that clean. <clears throat> he had gravel down on it. Kay Smith, William Smith's wife, the children would go down there and have picnic, all kinds yeah, of nice things. To the creek family. and have a good time. And They come in and put a lock on the gate. Locked it. I want to use the word, they locked the gate. They said, it's on our property. We own it. That's a right away. The, 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 the people's left, the, what was their names? It was Gail Moss. Gail Hefner. Oh, okay. Moss. Rodley. Moss. Rodley. And Moss. Rudley, R-U-T-D-L-E-Y. On my life, we did not say a word to them. We turned around, came right off their property and stopped to go look at the property and they come out, what are you doing? What do you want? Move on. Move on. You gotta carry you, move it on. What? No, we're not. It's not a uh, you're not telling me what to do. You know, we don't know if you're gonna rob us. So Moss, Dude, we're in a Mercedes, other, we're gonna rob you? What was the other, Moss Rutley and what was the other guy, female? Uh, yeah, no, that was yeah. Moss Rutley. He was the one that come barreling down the road like he was going to save the day. 
and his wife and some purple headed lady come out. They're the ones. H E A V E N E R. We, the right away, seven years in court. Yep. Seven years. And the judge, I got up on the stand and Sorry. I told the judge, I said, I can't take Give your idea of yeah. my boat. What's it called? A John you boat? Go, John. <laughs> just you get in and paddle. It's, I think it's a John boat. I said, I can't walk right down there. Well, what Moss did, he takes his camera, big bad guy, takes his camera, walks down that right away, turns around, walks back up. Now that's a it's long, it. yeah, long driveway. Yeah. I thought, man, you just killed yourself. Because it was so over, you know, you can't get nothing down there. And well, that was always access for cars. And, you know, but truck. there's no, I looked at the judge and I said, sir, I cannot carry a John boat. The only way I can do it, because they told me they'd give me, the Rudley said, we'll give you a walking right away. I said, how am I supposed to get my stuff there? It's like this. Straight downhill. And so, you have your idea on you? Yeah. Not, to, not to interrupt you. I'm listening. Yeah, listening. no. But anyhow, seven years in court. That's, that's and we finally got the court. I, I literally just got out. I'm like, why are you treating her like what? What is? What did she do to you? You know? Yeah, okay. It's a little cabin. You got a nice big house that your daddy bought or your wife's daddy bought. Yeah. But why are you giving her so much hell? You know? Can you have an answer? A lot to do with that. It was nothing. He actually, like I said, he actually there. was, you know, okay after the fact, but... There was nothing out there, but... <coughs> but to make us walk in a yard and... So once, once everybody got calmed down, they just... They, they yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, he backed up, we waved at each other, everything was fine. Were, okay. And I'm trying to tell him, it's, dude, it's all good, just, can you clear the right? You have a court order that has to be cleared for a car or a truck. You, you go down there and look at it where the gate is, literally trees growing up in the middle of it. You can't get a bike down there. The, when it's, you know, the judge gone. didn't say... But he's, well, that's how it all he's started. Calm. Just he's for us to go look at the damage on the property. He's that was always it. calm. I mean, His wife, whatever the opposite of calm is, that's her. <laughs> she called my son in law a ball headed. Yeah. Calling us names. He never does that. <laughs> I know I know the name Hedner. I don't know Gail, but I know I think he's Bob Hedner. He owns, yeah. he wants to buy as much property out here. Yeah. Like trying and, to buy everybody get a little below on taxes, he buys it up. The, like, come on. He <laughs> said, um, you see, I don't know how much land. Maybe half a car length a uh, company owned that that goes all the way around the here. And so anyhow it they defaulted or something and Bob Hebner bought it. Well then Bob Hebner goes to landowner down here and says there, there's a lot of trash down there. Yeah, this is all ours now. Up. You gotta pick up trash. This is not even on his land. DNR's gonna go crazy, man. To These me. people out here are just rich, you know, and they think they can just tell you what that's your property, I said, well, if that's your property, I just got <laughs> my son-in-law lived down there at one time. I said, tell him if that's your property, well, I'd be putting cameras yeah. out and see who's doing all this. But you can't, You who owns from the land to the middle of a world? Who owns that? Yeah, it didn't make sense. Free if land. you look on a, um, Free was an exo hunt or something? You go to app. a river. Yeah. Who owns from the bank to the middle of the river? Cause she sold us a property and we have another one right side by side at the end of go away and if you look at the there's an app and it shows red lines what's owed and our line is literally right on the water and then it angles like this and he's like literally walking in the backyard when they going this is a, no it's not bro get out of our yard you know he, they're, they're crazy man they're you crazy see, so as far as property goes does it actually go to the middle of the river it goes right to it's the water line yeah right to the water line he said no i own half the the guy I can't drink out of your water. I can't get a sip over there. I can't afford that. So <laughs> yeah. that is. People, crazy. The, the man who developed all this was Mike Sullivan. And he, Sullivan. when he put all these, let's just say there's no way to the water right here, yeah. right? So he made, right So away. he made provisions in our deed that you as a landowner have the right to cross Access. another 
to access rights down to the water. And I mean, this guy puts he a wanted people to. Huh? Right? My, my parents went through the same issue out on the Yeah. Near Gondola, near that's it. Uh, uh, Maryland tours? Uh, it's right on the it's mouth of Beckham Road. Okay. It, it, same, they, same thing, they all have an access point. Somebody put up a gate and put a lock on it. Yeah. Same, same Look, thing. I watched the show on ID Channel. I know you're on ID Channel. That this landowner in Wyoming, I think, same thing. Everybody had to right away all their other houses. He's putting a lock and gate on it. Wouldn't even let it get to their house. And, and it ended up killing one another. Well, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, like people are just weird. Virginia and and my husband put a gate up with just a rope over a post to keep our cows in. The man who lived beyond that, he took my husband to court. He said, he's, he's blocking my right away. Well, all, anybody in the rural area, they do those things. It was in court, it was out of court, just to say, because you cannot block a right away. And that was something I had up here, and even after my husband passed, I still kept going with that court because I knew because the judge he told her. locked me out of a right away. And that's the closest right away, and that's why we bought that. Right beside her land, and the judge told her that she should be able to access either with a car or a truck. You cannot yeah. access it barely with an ATV, honestly. I mean, you got trees and limbs, you know, he said, well, I'll do my, we'll talk about that later. We'll, we'll clear it. I'm sorry about putting snow in your driveway, but you, nobody's been out here. That's a matter. It's not your land. You well, took snow and blocked our driveway, her driveway. You all we couldn't get down there. You all could give me your name, and then I could give you a slip, slip of paper saying you have the right to use my right of way to go fishing. If yeah, we you have children, they can go down into like a little pebble beach area and play. That's what had always been done. Yeah. You don't have to have property here. Well, that's like at the end of go away, Sue. Like by our house. <laughs> by Janet, you know, by Janet's home. There's a right of way right beside us yep. that they have their, anybody has the right of way that has permission to go down that right of way and go right to the creek. We can't do nothing about it. It's right beside our property, but that's a right of way. We don't say nothing. Go ahead. I, we can't do nothing about it. These people, man. God, they're crazy. They Bob Kavanagh wants <coughs> to buy as many properties that he can out in our area. And his house, if you happen to travel back that way, it's like a three-story. No, it's a nice house. It's a big house. house. Very big. But they feel like they're king out here and they're going to do what they want. And like I said, blocking or drive, they just feel like they're doing, you know. I swear to you, man, we didn't do nothing. We turned or stopped. Me and her going, man, I'm like, eh, I see a little right. We're just talking to ourselves. Where are you going? She goes, uh, we're looking at some property. We're thinking about buying, you know? Uh, you need to keep it moving. Get out of here. You're trespassing. That's my driveway. Like, no, it's not. In our house. Yeah, like, no, it's not. You know, when I cut that lock off Ooh. that gate, he comes running down the road with his camera. <laughs> you can't do that. I said, you can't lock me out of the right away. And the police officer was there, and he's talking to me and I said you can put another lock in but I will cut have a key. it in. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so anyhow, that, I knew <laughs> I was <laughs> right but it, unfortunately with delays and everything. Because they didn't know exactly like how it works and then when the court they said sir it is your property but you have to give the right away to people. Yeah. You have to. Well fortunately for me I, I, like I, said, I went through the same, yeah. same so thing. You know what I say, right? thing. Yeah. I was hearing it on the kayak you guys say, oh, it's been slow for you. You're not going to go around it. Okay. Yeah. Going around. <laughs> yeah, I'm going around. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, you have that. You know, you're right. You're yeah. not bothering anybody. You just go down some fun. Uh, my grandfather had, we, we had the deed, a copy of the deed in hand. I said, yeah, yeah this, this is what it is. Yeah. I was young, but you know, I knew. But I knew. you knew what was right. And you know, that's the thing. You know, you know what? Um, oh, it's a guy that was a lawyer, and now he is a judge, I think. He was an arbitrator for most people and us when we went to do an arbitration. And he went upstairs to talk to him. He comes downstairs and he said, wow, he said, uh, you know why she doesn't want you 
going down that right away because there are mollusk snails. snails. <laughs> it's a natural habitat. I didn't hear this. <laughs> yeah. And I looked at him and I said, I love to eat snails. <laughs> I love all kinds of seafood. And I mean, that's the kind of people you're dealing with. So you have to tread lightly. Yeah. Yeah. But They're just, they, you know. It's their natural habitat for the mullet snails. This this is a situation. This honestly, listen to me real quick. This is a situation we just love. Him being somewhat decent, you know. At first, he kind of rushed up, and you know, I guess he seen me. Whoa, you know, thought he was an older lady or whatever. So he chilled out for a second. He was calm, you know. Then you got some purple-headed girl, like this, YouTubing us. Then you got one yelling out the window. That's what we were dealing with. Just looking at her own property to see what damage we need to fix. That's what we went through. I swear to God. That's exactly. And I said, dude, I finally said, look, man, you, we're good. Just chill. This is ridiculous. You keep picking on all. All we're doing is looking at her own property. This is my. dose not your. This is actually her land. Well, this has been going on for twenty years, and yeah, because you keep it going. You don't do nothing. You say you're going to do. We well, can't even come down the road. I'm glad nothing got escalated. No, nah, it wasn't nothing like that, man. I, you know. I don't think I really don't <coughs> I might have shot a dog, you know, if he would have came it, at me, it, but it other than that. would not have gone out of hand had he come out of the hmm. house and talk, because he's calm. Yeah. He works for the Forest Reserve without a shepherd. But, you know, he could, he could probably look at your before. face and say, you're nothing mm -hmm. but a damn bitch. To say it nice and Maybe Stanley. He wouldn't take offense to it because he's not being nasty. Does the name Stanley remind you? Or, yeah, I Stanley used to oh live down here. Oh my there. god. Finally got rid of that guy, man. Oh my god, you talk. He was horrible, man. He I still actually, I actually grew up right down the right down the road here. Did you? Did you? He still oh, posts. Salama. How long has he been gone? Salama farm right here. Six, eight months now? A year? He still months. posts videos calling her names on just okay. making videos, Dana Janelle. Yeah, she's an FBI agent. It's, it's, like it's crazy. Man. This guy was a whack job, man. So you're Big how, time. How old are you? 30. <coughs> Young buck. Who is. Yeah. Well, he knows Spank. Yeah. Chris Barrett, yeah, Spank. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. family. Yeah. That's where we know you're from. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Aaron Bryce. Well, like I say, man, we didn't do nothing. We didn't say nothing out of the way. So they started it. We try not to let it. We didn't call. You know, we're just trying to talk it out. So look, let us just look. You know, we're just looking and we're out of here. We moved. Let him go home and then y'all pull. You watch his videos. That's what we're talking about. That's a, look. Look, she still posts that she's a whore and she's a FBI agent. Let me tell you, if I hear that again, if I, I'm, you might be arresting me because. I'm sick and tired of hearing that, you know, calling my wife a whore. I'm mean, just getting ridiculous. Oh, yeah. But the FBI and all mm -hmm. that, sh that we had a the trailer that Signal the federal we, magistrate. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. federal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, so the trailer that we actually ended up renting to her daughter, but has like a used to have a couple like uh, dish dishes, you know, whatever, uh, dish TV and satellites. He'd put on there. Look at them satellite devices. They're they're hacking my phone lines and signal devices. So one day I got on eBay. And I said I'm gonna buy some red and blue lights. I got like four of them. Put them up there and they're all blinking. He like, oh my god, they're going off. <laughs> it was funny. He I did told, it just to mess with them, you know. He but told the real it guy's crazy. I had man. My cabin for sale. My realtor comes out and Stanley comes across and says, what are you doing? And uh, Ken said, I'm going to show this property. He said, this is my property. If Black Ken job, gets man. to a phone and calls me, I said, that man is crazier than a lunatic. I said, you cannot pay me attention. I said, Ken, go check the books. You know I am that man. What did, hey, what did he do? So he, um, the, the trailer that's on the land that he was in, that he took two years to get him out of, he was a squatter. Well, the owner of it, Jesus, or Jose? Yeah. Jose, the owner of it, had to take him to court. This guy lived in Texas, Mexican, Spanish guy. He had to come back and forth. He finally gets her, gets him out. Stanley comes into court with a car title to a Buick, a 1980 Buick. This is the title to the property. And the judge is like, look, you're a weirdo. You're pretty much saying, you got to go, right? So what does he do? He puts the trailer up, which was his, not the land, the trailer. Puts the trailer up for sale. These two, a couple, two people, a couple, young people, 
come in, give this man $4,000 for that trailer. He said, oh, the land, everything comes with it. You just gotta call the guy, give him $100. You know what? And Jose said, no, I don't think so. Screwed him out of the money. They were, we went over and said, do you realize what you just did? Like we had to tell him after the fact. <clears throat> He's like, what do you mean? You know, what's going on? I said, you can have the trailer, but you gotta move it because the property belongs, it just went through court. Oh my God, they were freaking out, you know. Trails for back there? Well, yeah, because, you know, kindness of Jose, actually, Jose sold it to Jesus family, I guess. Super cool people, man. We help each other every time. They're nicest people ever. He actually gave them the money back and bought the trailer back home. So he's fixing it up now. It's a nice old trailer, but you know, that was a good, you know, he didn't have to do that. He just said, no, either move it or it's mine. Yeah, you're out. You know, but he did. He gave them the money back and, you know, yeah, super cool, man. Everybody down gets a lot work. Like I said, we didn't, we didn't start nothing, man. We just, uh, ultimately, everything's over with, so. Yeah, everything's guys, cool. Yeah. You guys are good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. good out of your hair, yeah. ma'am. Ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all. Oh, yeah. Hey, are we going to be on cops? Oh, yeah. Yes, tonight. Are we? Long, cool, let's go watch it, baby. Long for your life. Hey, y'all take care. Thank you. All right, <laughs>